What is real love? Usually when we talk about love, we talk about liking or hating, feelings, strong feelings one way or the other. Maybe it's contempt or attraction, infatuation or disgust, yuck and yum. In the ethical world, things sometimes seem yucky. But I'd like to suggest, as Eric Fromm did, that love is a choice. The um, intermediary between liking and hating someone, he suggested, was apathy. Um, and he suggested the opposite of love was apathy. But I'd rather have somebody apathetic towards me than out to get me. But real love is doing what's best for the other person. It's a choice. No matter, it doesn't matter how you feel. And so if we say real love is what's best, and God is the only one who really knows what's best, you have to know everything to know anything for sure. Otherwise, it's all relativism. And so God knows what's best, and that's ethical, loving. So the opposite of God's will would be unloving, or sometimes it's defined as sin. So the opposite of love is unloving or hate, the real kind of hate. It's doing what's worst for another person. So in the upper right corner, good marriage, friendship, good teams, clubs, schools, where they like each other and they're all working together and they're doing what's best for each other. Lower left, they dislike each other and they are fighting murdering, war, racism. But down in the lower right, you can like something or somebody and do what's worse for them. So most of the sins in the Bible are things that people like to do, but they're not good for them. And so lust and, uh, of course, cheating, adultery, these things would be down here. In the upper left, you love your enemy. This was the puzzle. Jesus said, love your enemy. How can you love someone you don't even like? Well, you don't have to emotionally like them to choose to do what's best. Forgive. Um, get counseling if the marriage is going down. Um, forgive. So, real love 